In this tutorial on Illuminate, I'm going to demonstrate how to take an assessment that's been either shared or an assessment that's already done for you and you want to go ahead and change and manipulate that, take out a question, add a question. So that's what this will be all about. First thing you're going to do is click on View Assessments. Find the assessment that you want to manipulate. So let's say I want to change this Inspect Grade 10 ELA. Um, assessment. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And right in here should pop up a pop up window. You're going to say duplicate item bank assessment. We're going to go ahead and say not published to begin with. Okay, and that will actually take us to the Illuminate item bank. You can see that it has done that. We're going to go ahead and give it a new name get rid of the copy of and for this purpose I'm going to go ahead and put my name in front of it so they know not to use it. You can add new tags to it if you'd like, give it your own, uh, your own assessment description if you'd like and change your academic years. We're going to go ahead and hit save. That is important to hit save at this step because if you just hit continue I've noticed that it doesn't necessarily save your changes on this. We're going to go ahead and hit continue and here's where you can add new items and you can click decide which item banks you want to choose from what type of stuff you've probably played with this before hit search okay and you can kind of scroll through here find the test and it will tell you whether it's been added or not added in this case this question has not been added so I'm going to go ahead and click add and and then if you see an added question that you don't want, you go ahead and hover over it and you can see it turns red and you just say remove. Once you're done in here adding questions or removing questions, you can click continue. Okay, and right in here, this will actually shuffle all the answer choices. So if you are like me, when I create a test, I just make sure A is always the answer. And then when I hit this point, I just hit the shuffle and it will randomize the options for me. So under review, one of the things that you can do is take a look at all your tests again. And let's say I don't want this question, but I like that passage. I just don't like this question in that passage. So I'm going to go ahead and also select this remove from it here. And that will get rid of that question. So here's another opportunity to get rid of questions. Um, if you don't like how it shuffled the choices. I could click this again and it will shuffle the choices. So let's get rid of a couple questions. Okay, once you're done and you're satisfied with the test, click continue. From here you can actually delete this section if you don't want it. You can also move these questions around however you want and change the order of them. You can change the order of the passages as well. Once you're done with overview, you click continue. And right in here, you can go ahead and now generate your test. You can look at all the different things that you can do with it. Um, hit continue. Go ahead and uh, publish and administer. And then you are ready to add your rosters.